Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Rainy Day Reactions to Chris and Nia. Today we're going to continue Bates Motel Season 4, Episode 5, called Refraction. Okay. I don't know why I say it like that. <laughs> but first. What happened last episode? Okay, what happened? Do you want me to go? Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> so, Norman ran away with Julian to the strip club. Mm -hmm. There's a weird scene with Norma, ghost mom. Um... And the stripper, and Julian got his ass beat, and Norman didn't kill anyone, thankfully. Mm -hmm. um, but it sounded like he finally wants help from Dr. Edwards. Hopefully, that's the truth. Yeah. He's not trying to play anyone. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. What else happened? Uh, their house, well, Norma, Norman's house got ransacked by probably Rebecca. Most likely, Rebecca. Most likely. Unless there's other people with her that know stuff. I don't think so. She sounds like she's like alone. And why would she want to share this money? That's true. With more parties. Yeah. Well, she's very angry. And about jealous. Romero and Norma. everything that's happening and the money and Bob and everything. So we'll see what happens with that. They're looking into her. Um, the DEA is looking into her. So we'll see what happens. And if Romero gets caught in the lie of, you know, Denying that they had something. Yes. Yes. Because he's lying to a federal. That already don't trust him. They already don't really, especially the Babbitt, Agent Babbitt. Yeah. The one, yeah. Like, ah, Romero. Yeah, it was a bad. Things place. are not looking good. Yeah. But yeah. Ready? Mm hmm. Okay. Let's go. Well, did they have to break my favorite window? <laughs> what does this mean? That's personal. I've been busy marrying you. I haven't had time to piss anyone off. Yeah. <laughs> you met That's someone. True. What if it's Bob Paris again? Mm, eh. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. I forgot. No, it's, that's not Bob. It's pretty aggressive. It's about me. It, it is aggressive. It's, it's about me. Hi, what did you do? Oh, Romero, come on. Look, uh, She's the one person you gotta control with. Rolled up in the this is a scary situation. And even though he's being honest, the fact that she just knows like, oh, this is just part of hazards of marrying a sheriff. It's like, there's a certain like comfort level she has with things going wrong. Yeah. Violence. That's because that's her life. <laughs> this is gonna have to be muted. Da -da -da -da. Oh shit. Rebecca. See if anyone might wanna help me. Oh, oh it's Chick. I am. What the fuck is he doing? For Caleb? And uh, the stained glass window is not for the motel what below, it's for my home above. Fuck Thank you for is all he your doing. Help. What all if it Caleb? was him? The house? Looking for his money? <sighs> Why did you use the word typical to describe your relationship? Oh shit. You know my father died, right? I do. Were you too close? No. Ooh. Damn, that was quick. And when he died, there just wasn't anyone else for my mother to lean on. And so it was very important that she knew she could rely on me. Mm hmm Toxicity. Gosh, no, it, it was never a burden. She is my mother. Wow. And, and my mother's an incredibly oh, special person. You can say it's a burden. Yeah. I mean, he technically did by saying it's not. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, as someone's child, it sucks to have to deal with all that shit. Yeah. Hope we get a lot more of their sessions. You want me to help you with this? Are you, are you that desperate to see me naked? <laughs> She's always got to say something like that. Four to six weeks. Four to six weeks. I figured you asked him when we could. Damn. <laughs> I put it on my phone. I put it on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I gotta be in Seattle early tomorrow for a job interview. Oh, wow. I tell you what, put down that you've worked at Alpha Artifacts. Firm handshake. That's his put. Eye. That's his shop. Yeah, okay. Damn. This guy really likes Dylan. Not, not exactly. Oh. No, it's Interviews. a, um, that's a, it's a pretty small store. So this leadership experience, uh, That paper's not going to tell you why I can do this job. 
All right, you, you have no reason to take a chance on me, but if you do, I promise I won't disappoint. He's wearing a okay. tie and everything. With a leather jacket. <laughs> <laughs> They're sniffing around and fishing. I don't think they have anything on you. Just be aware. Oh, are you sure that you don't have that key? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, she wants to run. Yeah. Leave Norm at her house alone. Okay, I think you understand me. If you leave now, you're gonna look suspicious. Yeah. You are, lady. Hmm? Norma? It's not her. Is it? Is he getting visitation from her? Oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe because he's opening up now? So, like... Who knows? He was not a very nice man. And that is okay to say. Dr. Edwards will probably think so. Dr. Edwards' job is to make you feel better, not worse. Your father is dead. He's dust. He's nothing. Show the doctor that you're feeling better, and then we can get you out of here, okay? Really? That's what you're going to tell him? <laughs> the best version of your window is not for me to just recreate somebody else's work. It's for me to be inspired by that work and then create something else. He has a design. Take a look at that. Take a flower? You came up with this? Yeah. See, the Let's light in your show house us. narrows. The light will bleed through this design a little more kindly. Bigger than the orchid? You know, I've never had someone create something for me before. I know your son. Dylan. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's a small world. Yeah, we're neighbors. It's tiny. <laughs> tiny world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, uh... Casually Caleb. bring him up. <laughs> Yeah. It seemed like he knew what he was doing. My brother hasn't always been the most reliable. Brother? Huh. <laughs> what was your, your brother? Oh. <laughs> he connected the dots. Yeah. That explains a lot. Yeah. Well, this is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> it was wonderful to see my mother yesterday. Did you ask her to come and visit? No. Your mother hasn't visited uh, Norman, I want to ask you a question that I think you might find confusing at first. Is it possible your mother wasn't here yesterday? What? Just consider, mm -hmm. Norman. That's all I'm asking. Oh, my God. I know you called her, Norman, and I'm not angry about it. Well, then, if... I am monitored, then I think you should know that my mother was here. I mean, we just went out for a walk in the grounds. It's not like we were <laughs> hiding. What? But that's how I know she wasn't here. I get an email every day with a list of all the visitors my patients see. She wasn't on it. Well, then she just didn't check in. We can miss people so she much did. that it feels like they're with us even when they're not. But I actually felt her. Listen, it's your job to make me feel better, not worse. Okay, she told me that you would do this. She, she told me that. Breathe, Norman, Norman. Who? Oh. Breathe, Norman. Breathe, Norman. That's not Norman anymore. Breathe, Norman. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I have a very soothing voice. There you, there you go. Yep. Holy shit. I just want to hear him say Norman. Like, you know, yes. in third person. He has the killer for me to lie right down. there. It's a very vulnerable position. <sighs> See the appeal. Uh, it'd be so fucking uneasy. But how weird that, like, switch like that. was. Oh. What do you think about Norman? I think he is a very weak, confused boy. Easy for people to take advantage of. You want to know what's really wrong with Norman, you should talk to the person who knows him best. And that's you? Of course it is. I'm his mother. There you go. Confirmed. Oh, man. That's <laughs> so good. That was good. Yesterday, my scar didn't really hurt. I was just embarrassed that I have one. Yeah, you know, I hated my oxygen tank, but that was never a part of me. This is. 
And I don't want it to have power over, over me or over how I feel when I'm with you, so I just want to get it over with. Damn. That's a big ol' opening. Yeah. He's like, peace. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Does he have one too? He's like, I'm missing my nipples. You see this one? It's a, uh, it's a bullet wound from when that bastard shot me. Shot me. Why are you laughing? This is I'm sorry. This is important <laughs> stuff. Why are you okay. laughing? <clears throat> I'm thinking about a shark. <laughs> oh, come on. Four to six weeks. You guys need to calm the fuck down, okay? <laughs> yeah, kill her. You guessing she's happy? She's only played music when she's happy. Yeah. When did you sneak in? Well, I just heard you playing. I didn't want you to stop. I think I found an amazing guy to fix the window. Yeah. It might be even more beautiful. He's a real artist. Oh, that's great. Mm. Does he know him? I don't know. The break-in might have been a blessing in disguise. Did you kill Bob Harris? Tell her the truth. Yes. Why? Why did you do it? To help you. I had no choice. See how much shit this guy has done for you? Murder just brings them closer Cover together. Ups. Yeah. <laughs> I never want you to feel alone here, Norman. We'll figure this out. Okay? See you tomorrow. Damn, you can tell Dr. Edwards really cares. Yeah. At least I hope Norman felt hopeful, you know? Mm hmm. Look at that. Looking at her picture. Damn, looking proud. They don't have newspapers in the facility, do they? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I ask you. <laughs> <laughs> like... You know that story that I told you about the car and the dog licking my face? Yeah. It's a lie. It wasn't true. I'm out of integrity with myself, and you don't deserve that, Norma. He's gonna be honest? Okay. okay. We did not meet by accident. We were both hurt by the same person. Oh. Okay. When Caleb introduced himself, it was as Dylan's Dad. father. Mm. There aren't that many ways that that ends up, right? Okay. He, you're probably confused. He's, he, Caleb's crazy. Are you ashamed because he raped you? Check what the fuck? Why is he going there? Or are you ashamed because you loved him? Oh, what the fuck? Caleb beat me, stole my money, drove off my wife and child. He had no idea <sighs> the cause and effect of his actions, but that does not remove responsibility. He disappeared. His wife and child left? I want to know where he is. I don't want you to tell me. Oh. She doesn't know where he you is. Kill him. Yeah. Is that what you want? No. She has no idea where he is. Why not? I don't know where he is. That's, that's she okay. really you doesn't think about it. You think about what you need, and I'll think about what <clears throat> what I need. Yep. <laughs> All right. What'd you think of this episode? That was really weird. I mean, she really doesn't know where he's at, right? Yeah. I mean, Neither the only Dylan. Nobody knows where he's at. The only thing I can think of is if there's a a go to place that Caleb where he has. Goes back. Yeah, when he needs to kind of like touch base or like regroup or something that she might know. But other than that, she really doesn't. Yeah, I really don't think she has any idea. So, uh, are we in agreement that the thrashing of the house was Rebecca? Rebecca. Okay. Yeah, she didn't deny it. So, Chick took the opportunity to try and get close to Norma, too. Yeah, I think he was just following her. Because mm. he knew that she's Dylan's mom. Mm-hmm. Right? And then he happened to hear the window thing at the hardware store. And he was like, this is my chance to, get to find Caleb. 
I thought normal was gonna agree. <laughs> really? Like I don't know. Like just kind of like, oh, you gonna? Hurt. I didn't think necessarily kill because until he said like, oh, my family like left me. Yeah. But I thought he was gonna say like, I basically want to get back at him for what he did, and normal was gonna be like, okay, <laughs> maybe. I found it interesting that he said, "Are you ashamed because he did that to you, or are you ashamed because you loved him?" Yeah. And like her face kind of changed. She didn't answer. Yeah. She didn't. Um, she kind of froze. Like it made her sad. Yes. Maybe I've, both of them are true. Maybe she yeah. is ashamed and she loved them. Yeah, well, most yeah. likely. But this probably means that we will see Caleb most likely at some point. Again. Yeah, because it doesn't God look damn like. It. <laughs> it doesn't look like Chick's going to get go away anytime soon. Unless he dies. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm interested to see what happens. I I like the way Chick, like, the way he speaks. He just literally, like, <laughs> creeps up on people. He like, says some shit, and then he leaves. In the middle of, like, his trying to figure out what's going on, he's <laughs> just like, I saw your art and, I, and your window, and I want it to create its own. Like, he still, like, inserts his, like artist yeah <laughs> in things i don't know he's just he's fun to listen i to. mean you could tell he loves art yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> which is like a big part of his character um did you what did you think about um well actually just kind of quickly like just to touch on dylan and emma and her dad what is what's your read on what's going on because i feel kind of weird about emma's dad yeah, right? I feel like he's trying to... Like, he doesn't approve of Dylan, but at the same time, he's trying to, like, better him. I'm getting the sense that he probably does, in general, want, like, Dylan to, like, improve his life because he's a good kid, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right? But I'm getting a feeling that he'll probably not be good enough for Emma. Yeah. In, in the dad's eyes. Most likely. You know, I don't know. Like, I just, like, he's being really nice about it. Um, but ultimately, like, you know, Dylan's trying to move. He's trying to find a job. The dad doesn't approve of kind of, like, where he has experience. Um, there's, like, this shame to it, which, I mean, I can kind of understand. But overall, I just have a feeling there's going to be, like, this disapproval um, element to Emma's dad and Dylan. I feel like he's... Getting him to improve himself to somehow get Dylan to forget about Emma eventually. Yeah, like ultimately right? the end goal is just like, well, this will run its course. But like, I don't, I don't know. I just don't. I'm, I'm getting like a weird like dad disapproval <laughs> vibe. From, from <laughs> I know. I, I always get that too when they interact with each other. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I just got it this episode. Like. This no, episode. I've gotten it almost every scene except the one where. He told Dylan how much money they needed to move her up the list. That's mm. like I think the only time they didn't, he didn't have that weird vibe to him. Hmm. Interesting. Now I barely picked it up here in this in this episode. Um. And then what did you think about Norman's sessions? Fascinating. I want to see more of that. But like, what did you think? Me too. That was really interesting. He's like, should I lay down instead? Yeah, that was like, like very really seductive. Weird. Yes. Right? <laughs> it's I just, so weird. And the therapist or the psychologist or whatever. He, he can read it. I get nervous though because there's moments where I think he's just, they're showing him like taking in what's happening. And I'm just like, can you handle it or are you overwhelmed? Are you, is Norman going to like get an upper hand? Because I, but he's just kind of, you know, looking. Collected. Yeah. He's really collected, <laughs> and I like that about him. And you can tell that he cares even about this other part of Norman. Mm -hmm. I like how he reassured him, like, hey, I don't want you to feel alone. This. I don't want you to feel alone, and, like, we'll get through this or whatever. Like, I, I don't know. I think that's good. But <laughs> it's good that it happened in front of Dr. Edwards. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Like, it's almost like he kept missing that part of norman and finally he got to see some of it so that was interesting um and i'm happy that they clarified that meeting between norman and norma because 
Yeah. It felt real, but then at times, I don't know. Was, yeah, to me, it just seemed really unexpected. Like, if if Norma was really visiting him, they would have shown her being excited that. or, like, prepping to go see him or something like that. Yeah. This was really sudden. They never, like, led up to it. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, mm, I don't know if that's her. <laughs> I would say that the saddest part for me, I think, um, in watching Norman is when Norman gets that realization that what he's saying probably didn't happen. Yeah. That really makes me, I don't know, it just makes me feel really emotional. I feel like bad he for feels him in those moments. In, in the moment, yeah, like when you can kind of see this, his world just kind of crashing Collapse. or collapsing as he's realizing that maybe this didn't happen. Yeah. And it was so real to him. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see more of that. Um, and then lastly, did you have anything to say about Romero and what's going on with Rebecca? No, she's kind of annoying though. She <laughs> just needs to like die or like leave somehow get this money in. Do you see. think? Do you think he told her that they were onto her in the hopes that she will actually get nervous and leave? Because that actually seems Maybe. kind of convenient. Yeah. Right? Maybe. Most likely. I don't I know. I feel like she's going to get scared and leave at yeah. some point. Yeah, same here. I just don't know how he's going to shake her off. Yeah, I don't see her getting arrested. Hmm. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, and then speaking of Romero, I find it really strange how comforting uh, Norma feels. When talking about Bob's murder, or like you know, just in general, like things that are illegal, like <laughs> she just kind of like gets closer and like more like I understand you <laughs> when these things are happening. <laughs> yeah, it's just like oh, Norma. I mean, she feels. I think she feels like safety when they talk about those things because he's been there for her during those times. Yeah, and it's when she's like the most desperate when he's just shown up, like. Eh, I got this. Don't worry. This, it's like reinforcing, like, not only are we sharing very, these are very dangerous things to be admitting and talking about, but the fact that we're talking about it and you're there for me, it's like reinforcing there's like trust yeah. that they have. And they're married now, so she's like, for sure, gonna get backed up. Mm hmm. Or yeah. everything, pretty much. Yeah. Right? Mm hmm. Yeah. I have nothing else to add. Same. <laughs> if any of you have anything to add for this episode just drop it down in the comments let us know what you thought about that uh, norman ghost mom and therapist session um but without any spoilers make sure you like our video subscribe to our channel turn on the notifications and we'll see you all next time thank you bye